What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use Google Analytics in order to measure my social media results. And I'm also gonna show you guys key metrics to look for that are gonna help improve your results as well. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to log into your Google Analytics account and you're gonna go to the left-hand panel here and you're gonna click on reports. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on acquisition. So really quick here, um, you'll notice in GA4, they have the life cycle and then it says acquisition, engagement, monetization. Basically what they're doing is they're talking about the buyer journey here. So we wanna know through our social media, whether or not that's generating traffic to our website. Like that's step number one. That's basically your whole goal of social media. In terms of whatever's directing traffic to your website, you're always looking at acquisition. Engagement is more looking at, okay, what they do on your website once they got there. And then monetization would be, okay, did they purchase? Did I get a sale? So what you wanna do is click on acquisition and then click on user acquisition. And it's going to give you a whole bunch of different metrics here. So it's gonna look at it, organic social, direct traffic, organic search, organic video, and then paid social. So if you do a lot of SEO, ideally you would want organic search to be high. If you are working on your social media and you're looking to use that as your main traffic source, then what you want is organic social to be high. This is gonna tell you whether or not your social media is actually just driving traffic to your website or not, which is, you know, like I said, step number one. So it's really important that you do have numbers here. And what I like to do is I like to scroll down a little bit and I like to click on this uh, blue plus sign here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to traffic source and then you're gonna go first user source slash medium. This is basically giving you more information on where that traffic is coming from. So organic search, for example, it's telling me that it's coming from Google. Uh, organic social, for example, is telling me that it's coming from Instagram, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, et cetera. You wanna look at where the social media traffic is coming from and which platform it's coming from. So then what I like to do is I like to just scroll right a little bit here and I like to look at the engagement rate. So the engagement rate kind of gives you a little bit more information on the quality of traffic that's coming as well. So we want people that are actually engaging on the website. They're not just like, oh, whoops, I clicked on the wrong link and then bouncing out of the site because that's going to hurt your metrics and people are not going to fall through with whatever goal you are hoping that they'll take on your website. So for some people, it's going to be booking a call with you. For other people, it's going to be making a purchase, a whole bunch of different things like that. But typically the higher your engagement rate, um, typically the higher quality traffic is generating from your website. So on here, we can see that organic social from YouTube for me is really high. Um, organic search is pretty high direct traffic is pretty low and then organic social is kind of in the middle there. So you'd want to go through and take a look at these metrics and see how everything is performing. But with that said, um, that's pretty much how you can use Google Analytics to get a big picture view of your social media marketing. Um, like I said, if you are looking to use social media as a main traffic source from your website, Google Analytics is going to give you a big picture view on whether or not you're achieving that goal. And so you can make adjustments. If you are looking to individually improve specific social media campaigns on a specific platform, I recommend that you actually go to that platform's insights or to use a third party uh, analytics tool, kind of like, you know, later or Hootsuite or something like that. Um, because that will give you better metrics on the social media platform itself. And it's a lot more in depth than using Google Analytics. But like I said, Google Analytics is a really great big picture platform to use um, when you're looking at your analytics because it gives you an overview on how your whole entire website is doing. With that said, I hope this video helped you. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, please hit the like and subscribe button below and I will catch you on the next one.